So in my last video, I built a simple little reactive visualizer set in a snowstorm with the character endlessly waiting for a bus. And today, I'd like to talk about how I set that project up regarding the Unreal Engine side of things. To start with the assets used in the piece, I sourced those variables from a few different sources. Those being Ultra Dynamic Sky for the lighting and weather effects, Blowing Landscape Sands effect for the snow blowing on the ground, the Industrial Kit by Big Medium Small for the character model and light poles, the Automotive Winter Scene is provided by Epic Games for the roads, rocks, and other environmental assets, the City Sample Vehicles for the bus, a bus stop and bus stop sign is found on Sketchfab, and then finally, Botnik from the Blender Marketplace for the snow-covered trees in the background. With all of that acquired, I started by building out a 2 km road that stretches across the landscape. This then gave me a solid place to start building off of in regards to placing the trees and rocks that would sit in the background just behind and beside the bus stop. I then wanted to dial in the lighting and environmental effects, so I imported the blueprints from Ultra Dynamic Sky and the blowing landscape sands effect so I could get things up and on its feet as quickly as possible. Using the weather blueprints, I selected the snow preset and began tweaking the settings from there. In the post-process wind fog section, I set the intensity from fog and intensity from snow to double their standard max value at 10 and intensity scale to 2. This is what helps recreate that hazy fury as seen in hectic snowstorms. To help further assist in this, I also set the volumetric fog particle settings to their max values in the snow and dust categories and attempt to further emphasize these variables. With the lighting and weather effects set up, I then added the blowing landscape sands effect blueprint to give an additional layer of snow blowing across the road. I changed the color to white and increased the speed of the blowing effect to help simulate the snow whipping across the surface of the road in a more chaotic fashion. In order to avoid any strange artifacts as a result of this decal blueprint, it's important to highlight every object that you don't wish to have blown snow on and choose Remove Decals, as this blueprint works with decals as opposed to volumetrics. From here, I began placing props around the environment such as the bus stop, side rock outcrop, and background trees. Because I knew I wanted the camera to be facing the bus stop head on, I attempted to set things up to have as much Z depth as possible, despite the fact that the volumetric snowstorm would cover more or less all of it. It's also worth noting that with Ultra Dynamic Sky, you can go into the material tab of any object that doesn't have snow on it already, and add the surface weather effects node that comes with the blueprint, along with the corresponding static bool objects to enable the settings. That way, you can have an extra layer of snow or wetness to cover your props. Since I was aiming to add snow to the bus stop, for instance, I selected True on the Apply Snow option, increased the value to 1 in the Ultra Dynamics Weather Blueprint under the Material Effects tab. With all of the props set up, I then added the lights as supplied by the Industrial Kit by Big Medium Small. I set up a blueprint so each light could be triggered by the MIDI notes as my Ableton session played out. You can find a more thorough breakdown of this process in a previous video of mine. A link to that video will be in the description below. With the lights set up, that only left adding the character and bus to the scene. When it came to the bus, I set up a blueprint system so that the bus would travel across the x-axis every time a MIDI note was received. In this particular instance, I had a new bus drive by every time the 4-bar chord progression loop would finish. I've been trying to think of some more subtle reactive elements to incorporate in these videos, and thought making use of some simple vehicle animations would be a fun thing to experiment with. With all of that being said, this more or less concludes how I set up my snowy bus stop reactive visualizer using Unreal Engine and Ableton Live. If you'd be interested in more thorough breakdowns of any particular variable, be sure to check out my playlist of past tutorials and walkthroughs, as I've covered everything from setting up the reactive lights, to setting up my Ableton session, to triggering Niagara effects and more. If you have any questions or suggestions on how to improve things, be sure to let me know in the comments section below. Also, and if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all my future content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.